<clears throat> Yo, what's the deal, peeps? So, I'm right here just laying in bed. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm hearing the energy coming from either the electricity pole or people's houses or just the house itself. I'm not sure, like, where these sounds are coming from, but I can feel them trying to connect to my brain. Like, I'll feel the sound, and then I'll feel the sound, like, pulsating through and trying to connect to, like, areas of my brain because of, like, measures that I'm taking. So, um. I'm going to talk about a few things. I'm not going to talk about too much because I know these cowards, they want information and I'm not going to give them any. I'm just going to say just enough to where I can help you guys out and not uh, make any, like uh, allow any vulnerabilities in my situation or whatever. So, um... <sighs> I, um, oh, shit. All right, so, you know, I'm always trying new things, right? And so I tried a certain thing, and um, I seen positive and negative effects because I can still feel energy in certain areas and stuff like that. But then other things changed, you know, like, it's weird. I've talked about this before, but, like, whenever I use certain detoxing methods on my ears like um i will um let me see i want to pull i want to pull up something so my camera's not on so like you guys have something to look at because i always like you know putting something on the screen but uh I don't even know if that's a thing. Let's see if it... Come on, you piece of crap. Images. So, like, you know, there's things out there, you know, that you can use. There's a whole bunch of stuff. And um, certain things that I've used, like, you know, I've helped and then have made things worse. And, like, whenever I've used something, like, for instance, I think I've talked about this before, but I'll use um, something that's, like, really strong, that has, like, a really strong odor. And I feel that, like, it's just, it's strong and it. Uh, in the way that it's used, like, because even if you tasted it, the st there's, like, a strong smell. And, like, for, for instance, I think it's called tea tree oil, right? So I used tea tree oil one time, and... Oh, shit, that's what it is. Um, so I used tea tree oil one time, and, like, it helped. That Like, the first time that I used it, it helped, but then, like, after that... um. Because it was so strong, like, it was burning my ears. So, I would put water in my ear after. And what ended up happening is, like, some of the tea tree oil will start to crystallize. And I felt like it would dry up and, like, crystallize. And it'd get hard. And then, you know, my ear sometimes would get, like, a little bit raw or... You know, nothing major, but um, I would go to sleep and I wouldn't be able to sleep. Like, I would feel like my thoughts were like, because this wasn't normal. Like, I don't get like this. I was just like, my thoughts were just super random thoughts that I didn't think about. Like, it was just like if you turn on a radio and you were receiving all these fucking stations at once, 
but it was just people, different people talking in my head. Like, and it wasn't like, I don't know if, I don't know if you can call it V2K. I felt like it was just random thoughts, like just random shit. Like it just didn't make sense. It was just, some of the stuff just didn't make sense. Like it was just like, why the fuck am I even thinking that shit? You know what I mean? Like, and it wasn't, I, I know it wasn't me thinking it. It was just like me allowing other people's thoughts into my head or like, just like random shit it just didn't make sense like i don't even know if it was even other people's thoughts like it could have been computer generated or some shit i mean but it was just weird in general it was weird right and this has happened different times like every time i use something i'll feel like you know different types of energy like i'll feel like more sleepy i'll feel different stuff so like i can tell when something works when i'm able to block all of that out i'm able to i'm able to get sound sleep and um it also has to do with the environment that you're in like um you know like i told you guys sleeping in your house is like super electrical and if you found like some woods or like a freaking uh garage or outside you know in a tent whatever in a car even even in a car you will sleep a lot better. Like I have one of my friends that I talked to that's a TI. He's been staying in his car for like six months. Right. And a lot of people are afraid to sleep in their car because they're like, oh, I don't want to get messed with. It's just a hassle and blah, 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 blah. I mean, if you want to reduce your effects of your targeting, not your gang stalking, because they're going to fucking try to follow you and try to fucking bother you. Cover up your windows like I've showed you guys in other videos. And um, find somewhere chill to park. Um, let's see. Uh, so, you see how fucking peaceful this guy's sleeping right here? <laughs> you know it doesn't look comfortable but he's getting good rest all right compared to all the electrical grid that's running through your freaking house and you know yeah there's still waves coming coming at you right there's still waves but they're outside your car and if you have all your windows rolled up and it's it's a contained environment they're gonna have to I guess aim energy directly at your car to try to get you, to try to get to you. You know what I mean? So it's just better, dude. I've gotten so much better sleep. You know, I slept in uh in the freaking park the other day and I felt like super like rested and everything and I compared it. Like I went home and I was just like I was tired and I was like, "Man, I just want to take a little nap inside my house." And I freaking took a little nap, bro, and, and I felt fucking like the like the energy was just off, like the it was it was nastier, it was like just more dirty electricity trying to connect to me, trying to make me like super sleepy, like I just wanted to sleep, sleep, sleep. And I said, nah, fuck that shit. Like as soon as I went outside, like I said, nah, I'm gonna go sleep outside. Like something changed, you know, a helicopter flies by. And then they're like, oh, well, he's going to sleep outside. It's going to kill the purpose. Like, so then I stopped getting sleepy and I went back inside, ate some food or whatever and continue my day. So like every time I get sleepy, you know, in the past, I would go and sleep outside somewhere. Didn't matter where it would just as long as it was outside, not in a contained environment where there's a lot of electricity It has to be. Somewhere where the best place f for you would be like a sealed room or a sealed car or somewhere where it's just contained in the sound and you can sleep in there and there's like no electricity, whatever. So anyways, let me go back real quick. Like even, dude, even this is freaking chill right here. I wouldn't mind, but like I'd cover up all the windows and man just having to deal with this though like it sucks you know what i mean like 
I'm right here, like, hearing this tinnitus in my ear or whatever. And I'm just like, fuck, like, I can't believe I had to go through all this shit, all these steps and, and uh, protocols just to get a good night's rest. But, like, I mean, if if I do get a good night's rest, it's worth it, you know? Like, so I'd prefer to take these steps in order to get the results that I'm looking for. So, um, let me try to remember a few more things that I wanted to talk about. I'm just going to show you guys some videos because I, I can't remember about certain things that I wanted to talk about. I, pro I, I mean, probably was like one or two things, you know, I'll probably remember them next time, but, um, for the most part, I've been eating a lot, bro. Like, I've gained weight, you know, like a little bit of weight. Not like obese or anything, but I practically should be for the amount of food that I'm eating. But, like, I'm skinny. I've always been skinny, and my metabolism always worked a certain way. But, like, being inside all the time, I'm pretty sure, like, that they can manipulate your body and try to, you know what I mean, make you hungry and stuff like that. So, um, that's another thing, like being in a, you know, in a controlled environment, like they can give you these certain urges to want to smoke, to want to drink, to want to do certain things. Um, but like I was telling you guys, my friend, he's been living in his car for six months or probably longer or less. I'm not sure, but like around there. So. He's been telling me, man, like I used to get a lot of V2K before um, and a lot of witchcraft. And like I used to get, you know, sometimes like shocks and whatnot. And he's like, dude, he's like, honestly, all that has cut down a lot. He's like, since I've been sleeping in my car, I freaking she's like, I should have done this a long time ago. So just seeing somebody that has taken my advice and I think that he's like, you know what, if we wouldn't have talked about this, like I probably would have just been renting another place. Like I would have went and found an apartment somewhere, but you know, you gave me the idea. I went out and bought a van. Uh, you know, I got a few things that I needed for it and turned it into like, you know, his home or whatever. So like, dude, I just love, when people like try out and and give me confirmation that it helps like anything that I have recommended because I'm just like hell yeah dude like you're sticking it to them like you're you're like you're being not only are you taking yourself out of environment it's like you having a cell phone right living in a house is like you having a cell phone and then and then you you being able to turn off your cell phone and like put it in a Faraday bag and put it in a freaking glove, glove compartment while you're sleeping in your van. I mean, that's, those are precautions that you need to be taking, but like, it's just a very, it's a, it's a positive step forward to being able to be harder to pursue by these people that want to constantly collect information on us and are targeting. So like it's making it harder for them you know to target him pretty much and you know since his targeting has he has seen results that his targeting has lessened then that's a good thing because you know we're experiencing the same results you know everybody might not have you know the same results or whatever but for the most part i think that somebody should you know see results or experience those results if they're taking these measures. So, um, yeah, like, you know, shout out to Ken. You know, he's freaking, he's, you know, he's doing the damn thing. He's working and he's, you know, saving money and, and he's staying in his car. He said he, 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 had, he had got a pretty big van, you know, so he has a lot of space and, he wants to get solar panels so that's good too you know um i'm pretty sure like there's probably a better type of environmental uh ones that we can get with like less emissions or whatever but um I'm, i think for the most part it should you know shouldn't affect us too much um shit 
shoot. All right, so I'm going to get to these videos real quick before I start getting tired. Um, Real quick, let me see. All right, so this was just a street sweeper that was messing with me when I was staying at a TI's house when I had visited San Jose uh, to, to, to hang out with Christina and a few other TI's. But this, this freaking sound I kept hearing like near the house, just kind of like hovering around. So this dude was probably parked down the street or something and just, you just hear for yourself. time this was been literally lingering <clears throat> around the house i'm like where the fuck is that noise coming from i've been hearing this shit for like hours bro <clears throat> so i spend the night uh, the T.I.'s house, I'm not gonna say who or whatever. And, um... I, uh... I got hit, like, pretty hard here. And I don't know if it's just because of the neighborhood or her house. If, you know, she has appliances she don't know about. I see all smart uh, lights. Not smart, but energy saving lights which if you don't know by now have <clears throat> BS in them <clears throat> right anyways I was just oh shoot okay one second let me delete this video I don't think I need it anymore All right, so these are the ones that I wanted to show you guys. So, one of my neighbor's family or friends or whatever parked their freaking car blocking my driveway, so I fucking called the cops on them. And, well, I mean, I didn't call the cops. My freaking mom or dad called the cops, but either way, I didn't like that they were fucking blocking the driveway because my sister's pregnant and she's ready to pop at any fucking second. And this fucking dickhead thinks that he could just leave his car and park and block somebody's fucking driveway. So I wanted to show you guys this video real quick. So it kind of takes a little while before the guy actually goes to his car. So I'm, I'm going to see if I can fast forward it a little bit. So just you guys can see. Uh, one minute. It, and this car has been here for like. I would say like half an hour already. By the time the cops got there. Half an hour to 45 minutes.
So he ends up moving his car or whatever, and um, luckily on time because they were calling the tow truck or whatever. So you know what I mean? Like you don't fucking block people's fucking driveways, bro. Like you're gonna get your shit towed, especially my fucking driveway. This fucking car right here. All right, this was this was actually the first video before the cops got there. That was the second video I was supposed to show you guys. Windows are wide open. What? The windows are wide open. I don't give a shit. I'm my fucking driveway. I don't know whose fucking car it is, but I call the car. Okay, so I'm going to fucking fast forward that shit. I already gave it back to you. All right, so th this is after I see the car, I'm like, because I had, I had started using some new techniques, so I'm thinking like, okay, well, I'm trying to go to sleep, and this fucking car out of nowhere is blocking my fucking driveway. So, like, what do I think? I'm like, okay, these fuckers are trying to collect information or something. So after I see this car, I start taking a, a walk down the street to see what other cars are around me. So, check it out. It's fucking one twenty in the morning. Zero four, starting license plate. That fucking car, I've seen that car before. This was around some fucking perp shit tonight. Sitting in his car like a fucking puppet. Huh. Let's get that license plate, buddy. Fuck. No. God damn it. Where to get this fucker's license plate, but he took off too fast. So what?
I'm using the restroom. Fuck, man. So yeah, I go back to the house after that purpose car is on the corner while I'm trying to sleep. And then this fucking perp is in front of my house. So I'm just showing you guys just some bullshit. It's not really too major, but I mean, it's just perp as tactics. So my mom's the one that seen it on the camera, and uh, she called. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't have fucking, I wouldn't have mind calling either. But she, she's the one that told me. So that's where I start recording. So as you guys can see, the other mini was the other video was three minutes. This one's twenty two. Plus, that shit was parked there before that, probably like another twenty minutes. So this fucking retard right here parked his car in somebody's fucking driveway for about forty five fucking minutes. And I wish they would have fucking told his fucking piece of shit car, but. That who came out right on time. But anyways, um <sighs> it's just, you know, bullshit. And this was yesterday. I think this was right after I woke up. Next one. Wait a minute. All right, so I seen uh fucking AT and T right here on my street. So I want to go see what the fuck these fucking perp ass bitch made motherfuckers are doing. <laughs> so not a, not only do we have one down the street, we have another one right here. Fucking perpetrating. See, we're gonna see what the fuck these fucking clowns are doing. Uh, usually, like I said, when my targeting changes, I don't know why the fuck they do this for. It's stupid because it doesn't matter. I'm gonna fuck them up. Like, I know when I have to adjust it. Like, I know I always mess them up. Like, 
like they don't really show up often but like i go up to this i go up to this car and i ask him uh you know, if if he has a job here, or just did he finish? Did he just finish a job, and and or you're just taking a break or what? I'll just play it for you guys. Hold on. So, like, this guy ends up trying to talk to me or whatever, and I end up, like, going back and talking to him. So, I put my camera in my pocket just so that he doesn't feel uncomfortable or whatever. But we just start, I just start telling him, like, you know, why I don't like the company and, like, you know, how that I know for a fact that, like, I've had AT&T, you know, trucks and, and vans parking near my house not doing shit. So... Out of all the places that he could park, right? I'm going to go back and just show you guys, right? Out of all the places he could park, he's parked literally, like, right down the street from my house, bro. That's, like, literally across the street from, to my left, is my house. He is too close for comfort. And not only that, there's a, a fucking AT&T fucking van, um... But I mean, another Spectrum van behind me. It's like they're trying to triangulate some shit. So, and I asked him, I asked him clearly. I said, you know, are you, do you have a job here? And he's like, no. And I'm just like, are you, are you just parked here? And he answered straight out. He's like, oh, I'm just parked here. So I, out of all the, out of all, like, think about it. Out of all the places that these fuckers could park in what a 10 mile radius like i don't know where this fool's job his last job was but it's just weird how like i always see these fuckers lingering around me like in the past now they don't do some like so much they don't really linger around me but in the past i used to have them always fucking working on the poles near my house like all the time dude just all tech fucking at&t spectrum fucking coward fucking pieces of trash uh, their companies, you know what I mean? And, and sometimes some of their people that, that are fucking helping them. But, um, for the most part, a lot of them, they don't, you know, they're not fucking high up in the rankings. You know what I mean? It's just, they have equipment in the fucking car. There's no fucking anything special about them. You know what I mean? So, um, they're just trying to collect information for their company. And like set up that connection. So, um, yeah, it's just weird, bro. Like, why, like, out of all the fucking streets, park your ass down somewhere where I can't see you, like, even half a block further, like, the next block over, like, re really right in front of my house. And then, not only that, there's like another van right there fucking doing some other purpose shit. So, I don't know, bro. Like, ATT was just there, uh, like, a few videos back of mine, they were fixing the neighbor's house across the street and upgrading their fucking system or some shit. I don't know what the fuck they were doing, but I'm just like, okay, I seen you guys here the other day, and you're fucking here parked again. You know what I mean? Like, get the fuck on. Like, so, anyways, that's just some other stuff. And that's pretty much it. Um... Yeah, so my morning's kind of messed up because I, like I said, I came back in the house and I fell asleep in the house and like I just threw me off. Like I feel nasty. Uh, uh, I feel like connected to these clowns a little bit. Not not too much. I only took a little small nap, but still, even that just it just threw me off. I shouldn't, you know. Now I know though that, you know. It's preferably better if I'm sleeping in the park or sleeping, you know, anywhere else but inside, bro. Like, anywhere else. It's just... 
you know, like I even told my dad to park his van uh, outside, like on the street so I can like sleep in the van. And uh, he was parking the van outside for a few times, but um, I try to mix it up, sleep at the park sometimes, whatever. But, you know, they like they said, they fucking switched the pole here. They're fucking pumping more electricity at my house. That's the, that's one of the main reasons. But, um, yeah, find find a place that you guys can get some better rest because I'm telling you that's where a lot of percentage of your targeting comes into place is where you sleep and the next day and how your targeting is carried out. Um, in my last video, I was telling you guys about wool beanies. Check them out. They're, they're good for shielding. There's a lot of different ones, so I don't know about smart wool, but there's a lot of different ones, bro. Just buy one. There's they're freaking not even expensive. The one that I bought, I think, was like twenty two bucks, but I seen some for like thirteen bucks, so. Check it out, man. I'm just trying to give you guys advice. And, uh, yep, I'll, I'll post videos as soon as I can and uh, keep you guys updated.